Music is never about anything. Music just is. Music is notes, beautiful notes and songs put together in such a way that we get pleasure out of listening to them. That's all there is to it. And when we ask, what does it mean? What does this piece of music mean? Then we're asking a very hard question. And that's the question we're going to try to answer today.
we're going to take another giant step toward finding out our answer to what music means. And this is a really big step. We're getting closer now to the answer. Because now we're going to forget all about those pieces that try to tell stories or paint pictures. We've had enough of that. And we're going to listen to music that describes emotions, feelings, like pain, happiness, loneliness, anger, love. I guess most music is like that. And the better it is, the more it will make you feel those emotions that the composer felt when he was writing. Tchaikovsky was a composer who always tried to do this, who always tried to have his music mean something easily recognized as emotional. Uh, take this part of his fourth symphony, for instance. way to describe that would be by saying that it has the feeling of wanting something very badly that you can't have. Did you ever feel that you wanted something more than anything else in the world and you said so and they said no you can't have it and you said again I want it and again they said no and again you said louder and more excited I want it and again louder I want it until it seemed that something would break in your head and there's nothing left to do but cry. Well, that's like this music. Listen. I want it. 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 something breaks in your head and you cry. Now listen to the orchestra play it and see if you don't feel something like those emotions. what the meaning of music is. It's the way it makes you feel when you hear it. Finally, we've taken that last giant step, and we're there. We know what music means now. And we don't have to know a lot of stuff about sharps and flats and chords and all that business in order to understand music. If it tells us something, not a story or a picture, but a feeling, if it makes us change inside and have all those different good feelings that music can make you have, then you're understanding it. And that's all there is to it. Because those feelings aren't like the stories of the pictures we talked about before. They're not extra. They're not outside the music. They belong to the music. They're what music is about. It's all in the way music moves. You must never forget that music is movement always going somewhere, shifting and changing and flowing from one note to another. And that movement can tell us more about the way we feel than a million words can. Uh, here we're going to play you a tiny little piece by a modern composer named Blackwater Sniper, who writes music that's so special in its sound and in its meaning that a lot of people don't understand it at all and just call it crazy modern music. But I know that very often young people can understand this kind of music better than older people. So I'd like to take a chance and play it for you, crazy as it is, and see what you think of it. <laughs>
special stuff, isn't it? You see, if you even sneeze or cough, you're liable to miss it. It's so delicate and so deep inside that you mustn't even breathe while it's going on. What did you think of it? Do you think it was ugly? It was funny? Think it was pretty? Did, you, did it make you have feelings? Well, that's wonderful because, you see, that's just the wonder of music, that it can make you have, different people have different kinds of feelings. For instance, if I play a note on the piano, just one note, and I hold it a long time, that has no meaning at all, has it? But let's say I play the note and then I move to another note. Right away there's a meaning. A meaning we can't name, a sort of stretch, a pulling, a pushing, something like that, but it's there. And the meaning is in the way those two notes move, and it makes something happen inside of you. If I move from that first note to another note, like this, the meaning changes. Something else happens inside of you. The stretch is bigger somehow and stronger. Now, all you have to know is that music has its own meanings right there for you to find inside the music itself. And you don't need any stories or any pictures to tell you what it is. If you like music at all, you'll find out the meanings for yourselves just by listening to it. So now I want you to listen to a short piece without any explanation from anybody. I'm not going to tell you anything about it except the name of it and who wrote it. And you just all sit back and relax and enjoy it and listen to the notes and feel them move around, jumping and hopping and bumping and flashing and sliding and whatever they do. And just enjoy that without a whole lot of fuss about stories and pictures and all that business. <laughs> 